now that we got the vehicle painted and the transmission in this is the part that we finally have been waiting for and that is to rip out everything in the back when we bought this thing like three months ago plan was to kind of start here <laughs> and here we are three months later starting here so anyways it's exciting we're making forward progress so yeah now we're just gonna start to rip all this out and then once we get it ripped out we'll sit down together between me and my dad and we'll kind of show you kind of what our idea is for this layout and put it together so you can see it so one last look before we rip everything out Everything in here is pretty much rivets too. So I got one of these cheap <laughs> hammer drills, hammer guns from uh, Harbor Freight. Cause that's pretty much the only way you can get through this. Cause it just takes forever. Get those you bought them two days ago three days ago they're for special uses that's all it's left <laughs> you want one? yeah which one uh the orange one give you guys an idea of what kind of space we're working with so these benches on the side pretty much can't really be removed we got Vanna White up here Billy Bob White <laughs> Billy Bob White because the wheel well is like halfway through it but we can use this first half as storage um, on both sides so we're gonna probably make this accessible but overall the space that we have is so from wall to wall we have 82 and to the inside we have a hundred and four and a half about eight and a half feet 56 square feet there you go 56 square feet and just so you guys know the plan is to actually put the skylight in this area so it's 65 inches right now to the ceiling so it'll be 70 inches from the ground to the top We got everything out of the back of the Humvee. We got it literally all laid out out here. Hey, uh, show everybody how you ride your bike. Let's see it. On your mark, get ready, get set. Go, 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 go. Should we make this a ramp right there? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Woo! Good job. Nice jump. Man. So we've got it all cleared out and sanded ready to be primed. So what we're going to do now is just get the white primer paint and just prime this whole inside. Uh, not too much of the roof, but everything else because the roof we're going to do uh, more of like a shiplap kind of look. So anyways, uh, just going to hook up the paint gun and start painting. Well, we're at the next step of the build and uh, we got the inside all cleared out. We got a light coat of the primer on there. So now we're gonna use the 
Raptor liner again, but this is the tenable version and we're gonna be adding the bright white tint to it. So our plan today is to get all the spots marked for all the windows. So right here on the back, we're gonna put circle windows on both back doors. And then I'm not gonna pull these out, but these are long, uh, I believe they're 40 by 12 long skinny windows on both sides of it. And then up top, this is the one I'm really excited about. We're gonna put a skylight. So the benefit of the skylight is one, it's gonna let a lot of light in on the inside and it's gonna bump up the roof a little bit. So right now the roof hits just the top of my head and uh, this is gonna bump it up actually an additional six inches. So you can stand fully inside the middle uh, path, which is gonna be really nice so you don't have to bump your head and uh, give you a little bit more space. Boom and boom. So now we're gonna move to the porthole windows that are gonna be on the back door. And that's these cool little circle ones. These ones don't open, they just look cool though. Got this window done. <gasps> it looks good. And uh, this one, we just decided we're not even gonna cut out. My dad just did a great painting. Um, so we're just not even gonna cut this one out. We're just gonna have this view full time. Look at that. That is art right wow. there. So really our plan with this one in general is gonna be find the spot, let's cut out the hole, and then we're gonna add like a trim ring on the inside just so that we seal it really well. So this gap right here, just like in the max air fan hole, uh, we're gonna run either like a square tubing in there and just reinforce that once we cut it out just to trim around um, the side. Look at this, look at all this headroom. Sure is a lot easier to get stuff. It's official, there is no going back now. Yeah. This thing's either gonna be scrapped or it's gonna work. <laughs> go away, I say, go away! The Great Wizard of Oz doesn't see anybody on Saturdays. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think about that? That's hilarious. <laughs> The wizard. The wizard. But nobody can see the great Oz. Uh, 
Uh, the only one that I haven't got done yet is the skylight. Look at this space, this head space. It's kind of nice. It's like I'm on a turret. And look out. I'm gonna get some C channel aluminum so that way over this part it reinforces it and it'll actually clip around this whole length of this so it'll just smash it and uh, and then I'll put some rivets in the top of it and then I'll also screw it from the bottom as well. So this thing is actually starting to look like a camper and uh, it's really looking good. I love the way the windows turned out. Very tedious task of riveting is done. Oh, that was almost bad. Rome, what are you doing? I'm in a boat. What are you doing? You're in a boat? Yeah. This kid has an amazing imagination. Now we're gonna go ahead and add some of the butyl tape uh, around the perimeter of this because the flange of the skylight actually sits on the outside. So it's gonna sit flush on top of this and the butyl tape will bring the skylight height up to the angle iron piece. So this is the butyl tape that I've been using. I got a little bit left right here and uh, we're just gonna outline this area. Great selfies. <laughs> You're out of control. All right, enough uh, selfies. Okay, okay. All right. <laughs> Let me see. It just went That's to sequence. The top of your forehead. Look at that. Look at that. What's that? What is that?